Hello beauties and welcome to my channel. Yes, you heard it correctly, my channel. You are at my channel and if you do not want to be at my channel, well you clicked on the wrong page. So go ahead and click out really quick. I'll give you a second to click out. And for those of you who are waiting for him to click out, you can go ahead and click the like button and subscribe to my channel so you get notified whenever I post. Okay. Hello for those of you who do not know me, my name is Stephanie, welcome to my channel. It actually took me quite a while to get YouTube started. I actually have a Instagram page where I do where I do post um, little short tutorial videos. And anyways, um, I'm just going to get on with the makeup because I'm not good at the chit chat part. So here we go. Okay, so I'm nice and toned now. So now I'm going to moisturize. I'm moisturizing using the Pure List. Blue Lotus Balancing Moisturizer. Oh, it smells so good. So today's video, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in dark brown. I'm gonna just fast forward through my brows because I'm not good at them and I don't want y'all to see me struggle. So my brows are done. Um, I'm moving on to eyes now. I am priming my lids with the Urban Decay Prime Potion. I don't know why I got the anti agey one. I think it's just I grabbed the first one that I could find and I just roll wet with it because I hate, I hate going to like the actual mall, like into the stores. So I just grabbed it really fast and just walked out and I didn't realize that it was the... And today I will be working with the Jaclyn Hill Palette. Just going to do a simple slayed eye look today. Starting off with this brown transition color. I'm just working that all over my crease. You know what I'm actually gonna do? I'm actually gonna take like three different um, transition shades. I'm gonna be taking here, here, and here because there's so many of them and I never know which one to use so I'm just going to use them all. I'm just using a big fluffy brush that I got from my Doe Color set. This is the Roll is Gold set that I will be using from Doe Colors. I think all my brushes besides my, my eyebrow brush I believe are from Doe Colors. These Doe Color sets are so much cheaper like a set. I, mean, I don't know how many came in my set but it was like $20. So like, just to get you started off, um, there is a, a few brush sets on Doe Color, and um, I will link the um, link it in the description box. So next, I am taking a smaller blending brush using this maroon cranberry shade right here and putting it, focusing it on more of my crease. I live for this color. I really don't think I go out of the house without it. I need to start like dipping into other shades, but I'm just so obsessed with this color. Like it goes on my lids like almost every day, I feel like. So I'm just circular motions and then windshield wipers. Circular, windshield, circular, windshield. <laughs> just like that. I do want to deepen the outer portion of my eye just a little bit more. So I'm going to add literally like a tap of black right here. So I'm just going to literally like tap, tap, and that's it. And just go in really light-handedly because black is like super, super hard to work with if there's too much at a time. Just beating it down there. Same on the other eye. So now that that is complete, I'm going to move on to my lid shade. And I don't know what lid shade I'm going to use. I honestly haven't used that gold shade yet. I kind of like it. Okay, so I'm using the gold shade in the Jaclyn Hill palette right here. 
with my finger because I feel like they apply so much better with the finger. Okay, now I'm going back in with the brush I used for the cranberry and the black and going back in with more cranberry just to add a little bit more to where the gold covered it. And then back in with a big fluffy brush and those three transition shades just to kind of peek that transition shade through. Now that I'm done with my eyes, I'm going to curl my lashes and apply a small coat of mascara. For the lashes, I am using lashes from Queen's Boutique. These are from Queen's Boutique and they are in the style D06. D. I've already cut them because they came and they were so like long like that way. So I am applying my lashes with the House of Lashes Lash Glue. And so I'm just going to apply the glue and let them sit there for a second. When applying your lashes, I'm going to show demonstrate for you if you don't know you can use um an eyelash applicator an eyelash applicator or you can use um tweezers i just use my hands most of the time but um find a little compact mirror i'm using this one right here um put it right under your face look down and apply them like that Yes. I'm obsessed. Okay, after I was rudely interrupted by a phone call. Um, just kidding. It was about a movie that we were going to. Okay, anyways, I am going to prime my face with the Farsali Unicorn Essence. Um, I am almost out of this. And I got the little tiny bottle because I'm really broke. Well, not really broke, but... If I would have known how small this little tiny bottle was, because I ordered it online, I would have bought the bigger one because it's not much bigger. Okay. Oh, it smells so yummy. Mm, it smells so good. For my garita, my foundation, I will be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation in Cool Beige. So, just going to paint your face real quick. And I'm using a angled flat brush from Doe Color as well. I'm going to squeeze out a little bit more of the Unicorn S's onto the brush so, so it's easier to apply the foundation. I just added a few little small drops. And now I'm just going to blend it out. I really like the coverage on this foundation, honestly, for it being like in stick form. It actually gives off really nice finish. Being careful around the brow area, of course. Don't want to mess up those little cuties. But yeah, so here's that. Okay, now is the time where I can't like make any facial expressions can't make any facial expressions because if i do it will crease so next i'm going to be contouring my skin with the tardis pro glow palette um i am using this cream side right here with this flat brush first just I apply it everywhere and I'm just going to blend it out. Okay, so next I am going to carve my cheekbones and I'm going to bake my under eyes. So I'm just going to bake. I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent powder. The little small one again because I'm on a budget and shit's expensive. 
So I'm just going to take my candle holder. And then I'm taking my Morphe sponge, the flat side, so I can just carving and carving. Down the bridge of my nose. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> Above on my forehead. She is, I'm taking a big fluffy brush. I'm dusting away all that powder. Now that I'm nice and matte, I'm going to go ahead and bronze up my skin. Now I'm using a flat bronzing brush and I'm going in in that same palette using the powder side to bronze up them cheekbones. Almost done. We almost done with the look. Okay, I'm going in with a pencil brush from Doe Colors again. Here it is. I'm going in with that cranberry shade. And now for my favorite part of today's makeup look. Highlighter! Ah! Okay, okay, now I'm just gonna spray my face really quick with the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. And applying the Amrezy Highlighter by Anastasia Beverly Hills on a little highlighter brush, tapered highlighting brush that I got from Ipsy. I just fucked up my actual eyeshadow. There we go. And last but not least is lips. So today we'll be using the Kylie Cosmetics Lip Kit in Dulce K. Okay, we're done. <laughs> we're done with the. Alrighty, guys. So here's the finished look. It's really smoky and cranberry and gold, and I live for it. Um. I just wanted to say for those of you who are still watching, thank you for watching and welcome to my channel. I'm super excited to finally have a YouTube channel and to finally post on it. It took me so long and I'm so, so, so glad that I did it. Um, I had so much fun in today's video, so um, I don't know when I will be posting my new content, but when I do figure it out, it'll go ahead and be in... Um, in my social media so i will link my social media down below so stay tuned for some more content and thank you for watching